along with Birdie. My name's Birdie. What's yours? Cool. You want to sing some songs with me today? Yeah! Great. Today, let's play with the letter A. Do you hear that? An airplane. Do you like airplanes? Me too. I love the loud noise they make. <laughs> Can you say airplane? Airplane. 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 Good job. Airplanes fly way up in the sky, above all the birds and all the trees. They take people all over the world to see friends and family or brand new places. Where would you want a plane to take you? The desert? The beach? Maybe the mountains? Yeah! I know the perfect song to help us decide. Let's go on an airplane ride. The desert, the beach, or the mountainside. Can't wait to go on a plane with you. Let's make a sound like the airplanes do. They go... They go... They go... Can't wait to go on a plane with you. Yay! Let's try it all together. Let's go on an airplane ride, the desert, the beach, or the mountainside. Can't wait to go on a plane with you. Let's make a sound like the airplanes do. They go, they go, they go. Can't wait to go on a plane with you. What's that? An apple? Can you say apple? Apple. 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 Now you try it. Great job. Yay! Let's sing it. of a song. Jump, jump, jump. Choo, choo, choo. Apples are so good for you. So come on and get your daily dose of fruit. Yay! Now try it with me. Jump, jump, jump. Choo, choo, choo. closer look. Aww, they're so cute. Look at how fast they move. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Did you know that ants don't have ears? They hear by feeling rumbles in the ground with their feet. Can you rumble with me? Rum. Can you feel that tickle in your cheeks? Rumble. Good job. Yay! Ants work hard bringing food home to their colonies. Did you know that they can carry weight up to 50 times their own? That's like you carrying a cow. Ants don't have lungs. Air goes in and out through tiny holes all over their body. Ant colonies are run by a queen ant who controls all the other ants. Some queens live for many, many years and have millions of babies. That's a lot of babies. There are more than 12,000 different types of ants. 
You might notice that ants often walk in a single file line. That's because they're following the leader of all the other ants. They do this with something called an antenna. You know how we smell through our nose? Ants smell through their antenna. See them all marching in a line? It's kind of like a parade. It's a parade. It's an ant parade. It's a parade. It's an ant parade. See them all marching with their friends, carrying food above their heads. It's a parade. It's an ant parade. <laughs> you want to try singing with me? Okay, let's try. Ready? It's a parade. It's an ant parade. It's a parade. It's an ant parade. See them all marching with their friends, carrying food above their heads. It's a parade. It's an ant parade. Yay! Yay! Give yourselves a big round of applause. I had so much fun with you today. Did you have fun? Yeah! Great! That's all for today, my birds. Don't forget how special you are and to share your song with the world. Oh, hi, everyone. I'm so happy you're here. My name's Birdie. What's yours? Awesome. Want to sing and learn with me today? Yeah! Great. Let's go. Today, let's play with the letter B. A ball. B is for ball. Can you say ball? Ball. 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 Great job. Now let's sing it together. many different types of ball games. Can you name a few? Yes! Basketball, bouncy ball, beach ball. Basketball is one of my favorites. I love the way the sound makes when the ball hits the ground. It's kind of like a deep rumble or when the ball goes swish into the hoop. Swish, say it with me. Swish, swish, good job. Bouncy balls have a much sharper sound, don't they? Bouncy balls have two Bs. Bouncy ball, try it with me. Bouncy ball, bouncy ball, bouncy ball. Great job! Beach balls have got to be my all-time favorite, and they hardly make any noise at all. And do you know why? That's right, because they are so big, but they weigh so little. They almost float in the air, like a balloon. Another B, balloon. Balloon. Great job. Another double B, beach ball. Try it with me. Beach ball. Beach ball. Great job. I love playing ball outside with my friends. Do you? Yeah. That reminds me of the song. Throw, roll, catch, bounce. Please don't throw inside the house. Throw the ball. Now let's try it together. Okay, great. Throw the ball. Roll the ball. Catch the ball. Bounce the ball. Throw, roll, catch, bounce. Please don't throw inside the house. Great job, you guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. Whoa, do you hear that? B is for bumblebee.
Bumblebee. Can you say it with me? Bumblebee. 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 <laughs> Great job. <laughs> oh, hey, Miss Bee. What are you up to today? Hi, Birdie. I'm actually a honeybee. My cousin Vinny, he's a bumblebee. Oh, well, what makes you a honeybee? Well, duh, I make honey. Oh, yummy. Do you like honey? Yeah! Me too. What else is up today, Miss Bee? Well, I'm a very social bee, part of a large colony. We have worker bees, guard bees, and a queen bee. Ooh. You want to know something else sweet? Bees get their food from flowers. That's right. They also like to boogie when one of them finds an extra delicious flower. And they tell all their friends by doing a special dance. <laughs> I think we need a song to go with our special dance. Yeah. Here we go. Bees, bees buzzing in the trees, trees. Making yummy, yummy honey. Watch them very, very closely. You see them do a little boogie. It goes buzz, 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 buzz. One, two, three, do the bee boogie, boogie, buzz, 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 buzz. One, two, three, do the bee boogie with me. <laughs> Yay! You want to try singing along with me? Yeah. Okay, great. Let's go. Bees, bees buzzing in the trees, trees, making yummy, yummy honey. Watch them very, very closely. You see them do a little boogie. It goes buzz, 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 buzz. One, two, three, do the bee boogie, boogie, buzz, 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 buzz. One, two, three, do the bee boogie with me. A round of applause. Great job. All right, Miss B. Thanks for singing along with us today. Bye, Birdie. See you later. See you next time. Bye. <sighs> Do you hear that? Is that a baby? B is for baby. Can you say baby? Baby, baby, baby. Let's sing it together. Baby, baby. Do you have any babies in your family? A baby sister? A baby brother? Maybe a baby pet? <laughs> what sounds does a baby make when they're happy? <laughs> what kind of sounds does a baby make when they're sad? <laughs> what can you do to cheer up a baby? Play a game? <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> What about sharing a cool boogie like the bees do? You know what I do when a baby is sad? I sing to them. Little baby, don't be sad. You are special, so be glad. The sun will shine, the moon will glow. Always know it's gonna be fine, little baby of mine. <sighs> that made me a little sleepy. I think it's time for a nap. I love nap time. That's all for today, my birds. Don't forget just how special you are and to share a little of your song with the world today.
Bye. Oh, hi everyone. I'm so happy you're here. My name's Bertie. What's yours? Awesome. Want to sing and learn with me today? Yay! Great. Let's go. Today, let's play with the letter C. Did you hear that? A cat. C is for cat. Can you say cat? C-at. C-at. Cat. Great job. Now let's sing it together. my birds. Do you have any cats in your house? Yay! I love cats and their fuzzy little faces. I love the way they purr when they're happy. My kitten always purrs when I rub her belly. Did you know that they purr for other things too? Sometimes they purr when they're hungry or when they're trying to soothe themselves or their babies. Can you make a purring sound? Purr, purr. It's kind of like a soft rumble inside your mouth. Try it with me. Purr, purr. Great job. That rumble in their body calms them and makes them feel better. Calm. Another C word. Say it with me. K -om. K -om. What do you do when you want to feel better? I like to cuddle with my cat. Sometimes I like to take a really big deep breath and count to three like this. One, two, three. That's nice. Try it with me. Ready? One, two, three. I feel a lot better now. How about you? Yay! Wow, so many C words today. Calm, cuddle, count. My very favorite thing to do to calm myself is sing a song. Want to sing with me? Yay! Great. buckled up. Do you buckle up when you're in a car? Yay! Good job. Do you know how many wheels are usually on a car? That's right, four and one steering wheel. The steering wheel controls which way the outside wheels go. 
Where do you like to go in your car? I like to go to the grocery store and to school and to work. Sometimes on really special occasions, my family and I take a road trip. Have you ever been on a road trip? Yeah! Cool. Isn't it neat how much you can see outside of your window in your car? So many trees and trucks and all different types of buildings and maybe even some friends. Oh, that reminds me of a song. <laughs> Put on your seatbelt, everybody. Buckle up. Let's sing about some cars. <laughs> the wheels on the car make the car go. Make the car go. Make the car go. The wheels on the car make the car go. Driving all over this land. The brakes on the car make the car stop. Make the car stop. Make the car stop. The brakes on the car make the car stop. Driving all over this land. Chip cookies are my very favorite. What are yours? Awesome. Sometimes when I'm eating one, I get crumbs all over. Can you say crumb? The crumbly cookie. What do you use when you spill crumbs? A napkin? A sweater? A dog? That's right, a napkin. Good job. I love to bake my own cookies at home. I put on an apron and hit the kitchen. I also love making them for special holidays, like Halloween. The ones in the shapes of pumpkins are so fun. Or on Valentine's Day, I love making heart shapes and putting pink frosting on them. My absolute favorite is for Wally's birthday. I make him special puppy cookies to celebrate him. Yay! It's really fun to share cookies with your friends. It's a great way to let them know that you care about them. Maybe one day you and I can make cookies together. How does that sound? Yay! Great! <laughs> oh, 
that reminds me of a song. <laughs> Let's sing about cookies. You ready? Chocolate chip or peanut butter from the store or from your mother. Sprinkle sugar, chocolate icing. Yummy, yummy, so enticing. I love cookies, but only after I've eaten every veggie on my plate. Veggies aren't as sweet, but they're really good for me. So when I finish up my dinner, I will say, Can I please have a cookie? Pretty, pretty, please. Want to sing it with me? Yeah! Here we go. Chocolate chip. sentence with all of these. The calm cat counted the crumbly cookie he ate in the car. <laughs> wow, great job. That's all for today, my birds. Don't forget just how special you are and make sure to share a little of your song with the world today. Bye. Oh, hi, everyone. I'm so happy you're here. My name's Birdie. What's yours? Awesome. Want to sing and learn with me today? Yay! Great. Let's go. Today, let's play with the letter D. What sound does the letter D make? Duh. Duh. Good job. A dog. What a sweetie. Can you say dog? D. Dog. D. Dog! Yes! Oh. Let's sing it. Dog! Dog! There are so many different types of dogs. Curly hair, straight hair, <laughs> big ones, small ones, fluffy ones, big nose, Pug nose, wrinkled face, quiet ones, loud ones, smart ones, hyper ones, long hair, short hair, woo! That's a lot. In fact, there are over 150 different types of dogs. This, this is Wally. He's a wiener dog. His body is long and his legs are short. And he's got really soft fur and a really loud bark. <coughs> Wally is my best friend. Did you know that dogs can smell your feelings? They can smell the different scents you give off depending on your mood. So next time you're sad and it seems like your dog is trying to cheer you up, it's because he is. Even though Wally is small, he has a very powerful bark. <coughs> Have you ever heard a dog bark? What about a howl? This usually means they're trying to tell you something. Maybe they're hungry or lonely or they want you to pay attention to something. Don't you wish that they could talk to you? I would love to know what my dog is thinking about. 
That reminds me of a song. Doggy, doggy, how I wish that you could tell me what you're thinking. Doggy, doggy, it's so crazy. You can smell all my feelings. Doggy, you're my best friend. Doggy, you're my best friend. D is for dad. D, dad. Can you say dad? D, dad. Dad. Good job. Let's sing it. Dad. Dad. There are many different words for dad, like dada, dada, or daddy. Daddy, what do you call your dad? Cool. One of my favorite things to do with my dad is dance. Dance, another D word. Can you say dance? Dance. Great job. When we're happy, we dance. When we're sad, we dance to cheer each other up. Dancing always makes us feel better. Sometimes we jump around or move our arms all around in the air or even pick up our feet to the rhythm of the song. Wanna dance with me? Yay! Yay! Remember earlier when we learned about dogs? Maybe this dance can be about dogs and all the cute things that they do. And we shall call it the doggy dance. That reminds me of a song. Okay, ready? Do the doggy dance. Good job. And next. Ready? Here we go. Birdies. Put on your party pants and let's do the doggy dance. This time we dig, 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 dig. Do the doggy dance. Good job! Ready for the next one? Alright. Put on your party pants and let's do the doggy dance. This time we howl. Ow! Ow! Dig, 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 dig. Do the doggy dance. Good job! made me thirsty. Sometimes I make a loud slurp when I drink my tea. What a funny sound. What do you do when you're thirsty? That's right, you drink. And you know what the word drink starts with? A D. D drink. D drink. You try. Good job. Should we sing it? Drink, drink. What are some things that you like to drink? Water, juice, milk. Mmm, delicious. There are so many yummy drinks. There are also many ways to drink. I like to drink water from a straw. Dogs like to drink water from a bowl. 
Horses like to drink water from a pond. Sometimes I like to dip my cookie in my milk when I'm having a special treat. Dip. Another d, d, d word. Can you say dip? Dip. Great job. When I dip, I have to be super careful that the milk doesn't fall d down. <laughs> that reminds me of a song. <laughs>
They even use their trunks as a snorkel. Wow, look how big their ears are. <laughs> They're great for hearing and talking to one another. Elephants use many different parts of their bodies to communicate with one another. They even communicate through vibrations in the ground through their feet. <laughs> that reminds me of a song. <laughs> See how this is kind of like how the elephants march? Kind of sounds like it, doesn't it? Let's sing a song about elephants. Who's the biggest animal living in the jungle? It's an elephant. It's an elephant. A trunk. It's like a long, long nose, but helps them eat so they can grow. It's an elephant. It's an elephant. Giant ears that hear so well. Trumpet sounds so you can tell. It's an elephant. It's an elephant. Can you make a sound like an elephant makes? Can you? Let's try. <laughs> it's an elephant. It's an elephant. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Ellie. Thanks so much, Birdie. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, kids. Now, my ears aren't as big as Ellie's, but I do have some pretty cute earrings on today. Ear, another E word. Can you say ear? Ear, ear. Good job. What do we do with our ears? That's right, we listen. We listen to mom and dad. We listen to music. And we listen to friends. What's your favorite thing to listen to? Cool. I love listening to the birds sing early in the morning. Or the crickets chirping after dinner time. I also love listening to stories with my ears. My friends always have great stories. But my favorite thing of all to listen to is music. I love hearing the different tunes for all my different moods. Sometimes I like fast and fun music I can dance to. Sometimes I like slow music I can relax to. Two ears. Good job!
space that starts with the letter E. Eyes! That's right! Can you say I? I. I. Good job. What do we do with our eyes? That's right. We see. We see colors. We see objects. We see people. Can you tell me what you see right now? Cool. Want to play a game with me? Yay! Let's play I Spy with my little eye. I will tell you what I see and I will give you a little hint and you can guess. Ready? Okay, are you ready to guess? Here we go. I spy with my little eye something that flies. Try. Do you see it? That's right! An eagle! Good job! I spy with my little eye. Something round. Okay, now try. with you learning about the letter E. E is for elephant, eyes, ears. Great job. That's all for today, my birds. Don't forget just how special you are and make sure to share a little of your song with the world today. Bye. Oh, hi everyone. I'm so happy you're here. My name's Birdie. What's yours? Awesome. Want to sing and learn with me today? Yay! Great. Let's go. Today, let's play with the letter F. Can you make the sound of the letter F? Good job. Did you hear that? Is there something on my head? <laughs> Are you sure? Oh my goodness, there's a frog on my head. What's he doing up there? Well, frog starts with the letter F, doesn't it? Can you say frog? Frog. 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 Good job. Let's sing it. Frog. Frog. Are super cool. They have smooth, slimy skin and big round eyes. They also like to hop and jump to get around. Whoa! Frogs can jump so high. Frogs have really strong thigh muscles, making it easy for them to jump really far. How high can you jump? was fun. Not all frogs are alike. They come in many different shapes, sizes, and colors. Frogs are most at home in the water. They need a moist environment to make it easier for them to breathe. That's why they're always near ponds, creeks, or in tropical forests. Forest, another word that starts with F. F forest. Sometimes after dinner, my mom and I like to go look for frogs in the pond out near our house. They have a super awesome noise that sounds like a croak or a rivet, like this. 
Ribbit. Can you do it with me? Ribbit. Ribbit. Good job. You hear the most frog sounds in the spring and in the summer. Fun fact! Did you know that frogs sing to each other? They choose their mate based on how much they like their song. That reminds me of a song! Hop, 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 hop into the pond. This is the life of a frog. Jump, 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 jump into the mud. This is the life of a frog. Bugs, 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 eating lots of yummy bugs. This that starts with the letter F is flower. Can you say flower? Flower. Flower. Great job. Can we sing it together now? Flower. Flower. Great job. I just love the smell of fresh flowers. I love keeping them in my house to add beautiful color to the room. I also love to gift them to other people. Here you go. They're a great way to let someone know that you care about them for a celebration or congratulations. Do you know where flowers come from? That's right, outside in nature. Flowers grow all over the world and come in so many different shapes and sizes. They can grow on land, in water, on mountaintops, or even in the desert. They start with just a tiny seed that grows roots and the plant begins to emerge and then sunlight and rain help it grow and then finally the flower begins to bloom. The flower's colorful petals and sweet smell attracts butterflies and other insects. The insects pollinate the flowers, which allow more flowers to grow. What are some of your favorite flowers? Roses, daisies, how about tulips? My favorite is a sunflower because of how tall they can get. That reminds me of a sun. I'm gonna grow a flower tower, giving it sunshine, plenty of water. I took care of it every day, now it's taller than my waist. I'm gonna grow a flower tower, giving it sunshine, plenty of water. I took care of it with no fuss, now it's taller than you laugh and giggle and I love to laugh. What are some things that make you laugh? 
Yes, jokes. Jokes are a great thing to make you laugh. Want to hear a joke? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what do you say to a cow who's in your way? Moo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, another one. <clears throat> what do you call a train that sneezes? A choo-choo train. <laughs> Last one. How does a frog feel when he has a broken leg? Unhoppy. <laughs> feel. Another F word. F feel. Feel. How do you feel when you think something is funny? I feel happy. Laughing makes me happy. What other funny things make you feel happy? Yeah, when someone is acting silly. My brother acts silly all the time and he loves to make funny faces. Now this, this is funny. <laughs> when I'm feeling down, I love to laugh to feel happy. Whether it's my brother being silly or putting on a funny movie or playing with my friends. A good laugh is the perfect cure for the blues. And that reminds me of a Okay, now for this song, we're gonna have to make a bunch of funny faces. So I need you to think of every funny face you have. Here we go. Can you make a funny face? faces. Give yourselves a big round of applause. We learned so many cool words that start with the letter F today. Do you remember what they all were? I think we could make a whole sentence with all of them. <clears throat> I have a feeling the funny frog's favorite flower is in fact in the forest. <laughs> Great job. Now, that's all for today, my birds. Don't forget just how special you are and make sure to share a little of your song with the world today. Bye! Oh, hi, everyone. I'm so happy you're here. My name's Birdie. What's yours? Awesome. Want to sing and learn with me today? Yay! Great. Let's go. Today, let's play with the letter G. Can you make the sound of the letter G? G, G, G. Good job. What are some words that start with the letter G? Yeah, game. Can you say game? G, game. Good job. I love all types of games. There are games you can play inside and games you can play outside. There are board games, ball games, card games, and games you can make up all on your own. Who do you like playing games with? Cool. I love playing games with my grandma. Grandma, another G word. Say it with me. G grandma. My grandma and I used to always play Simon Says. Have you ever played? Birdie. Birdie. Oh, who's that? Birdie, it's me, Miss B. Oh, Miss B, what do I owe this pleasure? I heard you were playing Simon Says, and that's my favorite. Can I join you? Yeah, of course. Oh, hey, kids. Okay, now everyone, let's review the rules. 
One person is Simon and the other person has to follow Simon's instructions. But only when they say, Simon, Simon says. says. That's right. Okay, I got it. Okay, now I'll be Simon. Okay. <clears throat> Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, wave hello. Hello. Simon says, do a silly dance. Simon says, lift your arms. Moo like a cow. Moo. Oh, Simon didn't say. Oh, man, you got me. <laughs> okay, well, I have some honey to attend to, so I got to get going. Bye, kids. Bye, Miss B. <laughs> <laughs> now, how did you all do at home? Awesome. Playing games outside can be really fun also, like hopscotch or jump rope. All the kids at the playground can join in. Maybe you'll even make a new friend. On rainy days, I love to gather the family and sit inside with a good board game, game hot chocolate. Can you name some of your favorite games? That reminds me of a song. Do you wanna play a game? Any other G words? Garden! That's a great one. G garden. Garden. Now you try. Garden. Nice work. Now try singing it with me. Garden. Garden. Great job. Have you ever been to a garden before? Gardens are a great way to learn about plants and their life cycles. They can teach us a lot about nature. What are some types of things that can grow in a garden? Flowers, vegetables, plants, shrubs, trees, and more. Gardens can be all different sizes. My mom has a small garden right outside her kitchen. She gardens different herbs to use in the super yummy recipes she makes us for dinner, like basil, thyme, mint, and more. In my town, we have a community garden that is huge. A community garden is a place where everyone in town is town to garden anything that they'd like. Isn't that cool? What would you want to grow in your garden? Grow, another G word. G grow, grow. Say it with me. Grow in the garden. Good job. I would want to grow my own vegetables. I love broccoli. They look like little mini trees. Or carrots. They're so crunchy and yummy. Maybe even some green beans. 
g green beans and cucumbers and radishes and beets too. I want my garden to have all, all the colors of the rainbow. That reminds me of a G words with a soft mafti. J. J. Like gentle. Can you say j gentle? Gentle. Gentle. Good job. Let's sing it. Gentle. Gentle. What are some things you should be gentle with? Dogs, that's right. Especially small ones like Wally here. See how I'm petting him petting so softly? Mm. What else should you be gentle with? That's right, babies. It's super important to be gentle with babies. Let's practice with a stuffed animal. so cute and sometimes we get excited to play with them. So what are some ways we can be gentle with the baby? A calm voice, a gentle touch, slow motions. Let's try it together. A gentle touch, slow motions. Very good. What about on the playground? How can you show your gentleness to your playmates? How about asking your friends nicely to play with them? Or inviting someone to play with you? There are so many ways we can be gentle to one another. What's another word that starts with j? That's right, giraffe. j ra. Try it with me. j ra. Giraffe. Giraffe. Sing it with me. Giraffe, giraffe. Awesome job. Giraffes are giant animals who live in Africa. Giant, giant. Another j word. J giant, giant. Giraffes have super long necks, super long legs, and super long tongues. Did you know their tongue is 20 inches long? That's almost seven of your tongues. They use their long necks and tongues to eat the leaves off the very tippy tops of the trees. And they love to eat. They spend almost their whole day eating. Aw, look at how cute that little baby giraffe is. Did you know baby giraffes moo like a cow? It's true. Baby giraffes, also called calves, moo to communicate to their mamas. Adult giraffes also make some cool noises. They actually hum to each other at night. What do you think that they're saying to each other? Maybe they're telling nighttime stories. Or maybe they're singing to each other. And that reminds me of a song. Grasses grow tall. Live 
lives a giraffe who's the tallest of all with spots on its coat and a neck that's so high it reaches for leaves in the bright blue sky their spots are like a puzzle a pattern so unique giraffes are friendly but they never speak so stick your neck up high to the sky and reach the tallest leaf of the tallest tree and go chomp 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 and go chomp 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 good job let's try it again ready to try it with me okay let's go stick your neck up high to the sky and reach the tallest leaf of the tallest tree and go chomp Job, my birds. We learned so many cool words that start with the letter G today. Do you remember what they are? Yeah. I think we can make a whole sentence with all of them. <clears throat> Grandma told the giant giraffe to play games with me in the garden while the gentle green leaves grew. <laughs> all right, that's all for today, my birds. Don't forget just how special you are and make sure to share your song with the world today. Bye. Looking for some educational fun? Subscribe with me, Birdie.